Wade asks, I'm assuming this is Dwayne Wade of the Miami Heat, which do you think will have a bigger impact on the VC market, AngelList's $400 million fund or YC's continuity fund? Okay, I don't think either of these are going to have a dramatic impact on the VC market because they're small compared to the large size of the overall VC market. And the number of startups have greatly increased, and the number of startups that need continuing funding uh, ha has increased so massively that we still don't have enough funds. The 400 million in the angel list um, fund, that is going to be dispersed, I think, at 100, 200, 300,000 per investment. So that could be upwards of 1,000 investments or something like that. 500 investments, we'll see. Maybe 2,000 um, in terms of them doling it out. And so over the next three years, maybe they do three, four, 500 investments a year of two or $300,000. It's not going to change things dramatically. It will be a very nice thing because startup companies will get a couple of extra months of runway. So if you burn 50K a month or 100K a month, I think the angel is fund is going to add to the you know syndicates like mine and I've met with the team over there who's doing this 400 million dollar fund I met with them before the holidays um, and I told them like well let's let's talk about what this relationship is I think for my startups instead of raising 300 they might raise 500 hey guess what that 200k equals four more months of runway three more months of runway six more months of runway eight more months of runway in other words it's not going to change everything but it's sure gonna be nice it could be a nice icing on the cake um, you know basically you get more traction you have more time to figure it out before you go to the actual VCs. YC's continuity fund, again, it's just like another you know, uh, VC firm joining the market. It has created a lot of conflict of interest, and a lot of VCs have the daggers out for Y Combinator right now. That's why you hear a lot of people kind of, you know, they, they're, and sometimes it's jealousy of YC, sometimes people feel threatened, but it it adds to this narrative, which I don't think is a true narrative, it's kind of a false narrative, that YC is competitive with everybody or YC is a circle of the wagon kind of mentality. And now they're gonna fund their own companies and box out other VCs. I don't think they're gonna box out any other VCs. I think this is for them to go pro rata. So let's say they hit another Dropbox or they hit another Airbnb. I don't think they've had the ability because those companies became so big to keep doing their pro rata. So this is just for them to stay involved with the big companies coming out of their uh, incubator uh, and they're doing 200, 300 companies a year or something like that, maybe 300. So they're going to need um, those companies if they hit two unicorns a year, let's say they hit one unicorn a year, probably one unicorn a year is probably a good average, one out of 300. Um, well, you know what? They're going to need $100 million for every unicorn they hit, $50 million, $100 million to keep going. But that doesn't box out everybody. Airbnb has raised a lot more than $50 million, you know, and Dropbox has raised a lot more than $50 million. So. I do think uh, Zenefit's raised a lot more. So I think these are nice developments, um, but they're not earth shattering. They're just really awesome. Ah, just think about all the time and effort and money you spend going to meetings, going across town, getting stuck in traffic from Palo Alto all the way up to San Francisco, out to Oakland, traveling across the country, going to Seattle, going out to L.A., back to New York. It is exhausting, and it is a waste of time and money. Most meetings could occur with the help of GoToMeeting, and they would occur flawlessly. I know because I do these meetings all the time. In fact, I've been meeting with a dozen entrepreneurs every week over GoToMeeting, back to back to back, recording these meetings and sharing them back with the entrepreneurs as I give them feedback for when they come to the launch festival in uh, March, March 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, in fact. And I can only do with GoToMeeting because Everybody can use any product they have, computer, tablet, smartphone, doesn't matter what operating system, it just works everywhere. And it is HD quality with perfect, perfect HD sound and the ability to share screens. And it never hiccups, it never has bandwidth problems, it just always works. And that to me is the key. You know, if you're gonna do these kind of virtualized meetings, they can't be breaking up and they can't have poor fidelity. They have to be perfect. So here is your call to action. This is what I want you to do right now. I want you to go to gotomeeting.com and try it free for 30 days. There is nothing to lose. Visit gotomeeting.com and click the try it free button. Do it now and have your first meeting up and running in minutes. It literally uh, works so simple that I have like little 
Google Calendar uh, Chrome extension where it puts a go-to meeting button every time I create um, uh, a meeting. And I just press boop, go to meeting. And it generates a code, gives everybody the code. Everybody knows the link. Boom. And it just works. So go ahead and go to gotomeeting.com and get your free 30-day trial. It's a great product. I've been using it for years. I love it. It's a pleasure for me to read uh, you know, an ad about GoToMeeting because I don't have to read it because I use it. It's literally on the list of my top 10, 20 products that I use every week. Uh, it just makes me super efficient in meeting with entrepreneurs. So uh, thanks to our friends at GoToMeeting. And if you're a super fan of the show, go ahead and thank at GoToMeeting on Twitter. They love to see your support of the program. Okay, let's get back to this episode. 